Hello, welcome to the MMO Creators channel. Um, today's episode is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be talking about following your dreams. I've been at this adventure for 10 plus years now. And when I first got started, I saw a lot of people shooting down every single person that came along wanting to build their own MMO. And I mean, granted, back then, the barrier to entry was a whole lot higher than it is now. In actuality, the barrier to entry has never been lower than it is at this moment in time. But... I've seen a lot of people just shooting people down wanting to build their own MMO and stuff, and... I just want to encourage you that if it is your dream to build your own MMO, then, yes, it's going to take a lot of work and it's going to take a lot of time and stuff, but it is possible. And with the tools and technology and stuff that we have at our disposal now, it's never been easier to build one. And yes, it's still hard, it's still complicated, it's still one of the hardest types of games to build, but there's tools and game engines and stuff to help you do it. And... It, if it is your dream and passion to build an MMO, then seriously, just go and do it. Go learn the stuff that you need to learn. Learn how to program. Learn about 3D modeling. Learn about animation. Learn about all the different technologies. Learn about databases and MySQL and uh, NoSQL solutions and networking and... Um, security and all these different things that you need to know, learn about them, and then gradually start piecing your MMO together. and Or pick up a MMO development platform like uh, UMMORPG from the Unity Asset Store or Spatial OS or Atavism and use one of those where you don't have to worry about the network and, and you don't have to worry about the security. Well, some of them you still have to worry about security and everything, but um, they've got security features built into them, so they just make it a whole lot easier, and you can go and you can start developing your game and prototyping your ideas and stuff without having to worry about networking and everything. And the other tip that I would have for you is if you do want to build your own MMO. First of all, it's going to be very easy to get discouraged and lose sight of why you wanted to do it in the first place. So write down like all of your top reasons for wanting to do it and put them up around your computer. And so every time you get discouraged, you can look and you can see, oh yes, that's one reason why I wanted to do it. There's another reason why I wanted to do it. And also, join a community of developers who are also on the same adventure that you are. Um, the UMMORPG Discord server is a great resource. Um, our own Discord server is a great resource. We have developers in both of the Discord servers posting their screenshots and showing what they're up to and stuff. And it can really be a huge boost whenever you're feeling discouraged and stuff, because here's other developers that are doing it, so you can do it, and it sort of becomes a, you want to do the best that you can, so you can showcase what you're doing, and help others who may be discouraged. And so it's just a huge confidence boost to join these communities. You can get feedback, you can get help if you need help with something, you can post your screenshots, you can get people into your game to test it with you. And it's just a really, really great resource to have. Um, also, there's plenty, if you're just starting out learning C Sharp or Unity or whatever, there's a lot of resources on YouTube to help you with that, tutorials and everything. Um, I've got you MMORPG tutorials on my channel. I've got, I'm gonna be posting um, Unity specific tutorials, and then there's I'll have links to C Sharp tutorials that you can go and learn how to do C Sharp. 
Um, but yeah, if you want to build an MMO, then just learn this stuff, take the time to do it, and just believe in yourself. Have faith in your abilities. Know what you don't have the ability to do yet, and learn it, and get good at it, and then you will be able to be able to do it. And so yeah, I hope that this little video has encouraged you to follow your dreams. And I mean, following your dreams doesn't just have to be about MMO development; it can be about anything in life, obviously. And I really think that no matter what your dreams are, you should always follow them no matter what other people around you may think or say just you know where your dreams are you know what your passion are, is and just follow it go after it i think there's too many times where we have dreams as kids and teenagers and stuff and then we become adults and all of a sudden we can't do those dreams we think we think we have to go out and get a job and um, we have bills that we have to pay and stuff, and our dreams just go to the wayside and go on to the back burner and stuff. But it's important that we follow our dreams, if nothing more than to set an example for the kids around us. And so, yeah, I hope this has been an encouragement. Um, if you want to see more videos, if you want to catch my UMMORPG tutorials on Mondays, or my Unity videos, or anything else, any of the other days of the week, please subscribe to the channel. I'll have links to the UMMORPG Discord server, and to our own Discord server down in the description below. And I really hope that you will do what it takes to follow your dreams, and believe in yourself, and have a fantastic night.